It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our social media handles for Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are all at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website, obnradio.com. And our 24-hour dial-in message center, 713-570-6736. And without any further delay, we're going to jump right into today's episode. Well, they have definitely let their presence be known. And I'm speaking of that of the Fam U Rattlers. Of course, it was made official this past week that Fam U will be an official member of the Southwestern Athletic Conference effective July 1st, 2021. And Rattler Nation has had an orange and green wave all ready to show up throughout various SWAC outlets. And it is truly, truly exciting. And I might even add a little eye-opening with the confidence that Rattler Nation will be coming to SWAC Nation with. And it's definitely going to be some smack talk and heat it back up very, very soon. Before I go any further, I need to clarify I made a misdirection of a location when I was speaking on Bethune-Cookman. Bethune-Cookman and FAMU meet in Orlando each year to play their classic, but Bethune-Cookman is located at Daytona Beach, Florida. So forgive me on that. Just want to clear that up to keep the lines clear because we want to right our wrongs whenever we know that we were in error with some information. Back to the Rattler Nation's presence. They're coming in, and if you just look and hear everything, they're coming in with an expectation of taking over. Trust me, they've counted up the cost. They know who's who, and they're feeling very good and confident about the pecking order, or should we say the new pecking order of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Some of you guys have responded. You said you will see that FAMU will be just as competitive with Southern, Alcorn, and Grambling. Some have even said they don't think they're going to have that much of an easy transition or takeover. That's why we play the games. We know that FAMU, if we go down the list of sports that are going to be in competition, we know they're going to bring a high awareness on the football side. Basketball, both men and women's, they're still trying to find their way. Baseball has had some recent success of the 2019 MEAC baseball champions, but they still have to bring a little bit more to the table as far as consistency from my perspective, especially when we're talking about the baseball part. Softball, very strong softball programming. Track and field, they're reestablishing their presence in that field. You can say the same for cross country and other Olympic sports. As far as the TVU and the FAMU history goes, on the football side of things, Prairie View was victorious over FAMU 62 years ago, 1958, to become Black College Football National Champion. That was actually the last time the two crossed paths. Baseball, Panthers, and the Rattlers met. 2011, Panthers were victorious 2-0. So it's time to mount them up, PV Nation. See if we could stop the strike, strike, and strike again attack of Rattler Nation. Now where it becomes a bit interesting, the band, the Marching 100. Am you ready to let their presence be felt? For our band, enthusiasts out there, where does the Marching 100 line up with the rest of the Southwestern Athletic Conference bands? We would love to hear your viewpoints on those. Our 24-hour dial-in message line, 713-570-6736. Leave your thoughts, comments. What do you feel about FAMU coming to be a part of the Southwestern Athletic Conference? Or are you concerned that FAMU is coming in and letting their presence be known that there's a new sheriff in town and they're wearing orange and green. Meanwhile, 
Coach Sandy Pugh was our featured guest on yesterday's episode, did an excellent job addressing the APR challenges and how they're going to work through it. Very enthused about the recruiting and the continuation of the Pew crew as she gets into her third season here at Prairie View A&M University. Very excited to see how all of that is going to play out. Still waiting patiently for the decision of the chosen one for the athletic director's position at Prairie View A&M University. Heard from Mr. Irvin Lewis and Dr. Donald Reed. Heard their presentations. People have given feedback. Some of you are still giving feedback, which is always a good thing. We'll keep you posted as the story develops, as always here from the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Want to remind you that we have an 24-hour on-demand listen center. That phone number is 720-721-1558. You can dial in anytime and hear programming. We have the Mike Prince Show live on Sunday night rebroadcast. That is box number four. We have the Temple of Refuge Ministries on box number three. We have other stories and updates throughout various boxes. Be sure to go there, check that out at your own discretion. 720-721-1558. As always, time truly flies when you're having fun. We're going to exit stage left for right now. But I want to remind you that you can catch us here daily right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I've got to go. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. And until the next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.